Hello friends, I'm Stanislav Chernanog, the author and creator of the online school Vector Massage and Somatics, and today we will continue discussing the topic of the female breasts. Well, as always, beauty and health are inseparable. Factors that lead to a deterioration in the functioning of the breast can almost certainly lead to the breast becoming less attractive and looking worse. So, let's get started. The first thing we will talk about in this video is the harmful influence of the bra. Many women pick up a bra not understanding how the breast functions and how the musculoskeletal system functions. First, it is a fairly common story when the bone in the bra squeezes the lymph circulation and the lymph flows away in the chest and in the direction of the axillary lymph node. If there is a bone here that squeezes this lymph flow, then we will almost certainly have guaranteed problems with the breast. Seals, soreness, and shape change. Deterioration of the shape. The next bra related problem will be the condition of the spine and it is also related to the breast. Quite often when a patient comes to me and I see that they have in the area of the 6th and 7th thoracic vertebrae exactly the region where the bra straps are fastened, the patient has problems with the curvature of the spine. The thing is that the bra strap hooks have an irritating effect on the mid thoracic spine which leads to the muscles that are attached in this region to weaken and women rarely have problems here which is especially unpleasant in light of the fact that when there are problems here, a woman begins to hunch and thus leads to the breasts looking not how the patient wants them to look. In addition to this, the lymphatic system is clamped along the auxiliary lymph nodes and the lymph nodes are clamped in the area of the venous angle. We'll talk about this later in this video. Another problem associated with the bra is that the straps periodically squeeze the trapezius muscles which again lead to a deterioration of the neck and shoulders. What can be done about this here? Bras with a wide back and elastic bands that have elasticity are recommended. On the one hand, they should support the breasts. On the other hand, they should not interfere with the free circulation of fluid through the mammary gland and surrounding tissues. Stanislav, a question from the audience. What happens if the lymph circulation is disrupted? What happens if the lymph circulation in the auxiliary area is disrupted? The fluid from the breast of the lymph will stop moving away and it will stagnate there. There are quite a few blood vessels in the mammary gland, and they cannot qualitatively drain all the fluid with toxins. So the main outflow of fluid occurs through the lymphatic system. If this does not happen, then it is necessary to put toxic substances somewhere, and the body dumps them, of course, into the fatty tissue of the breast. As you understand, the mammary gland consists on the one hand of the mammary gland, and secondly, it is surrounded by adipose tissue. This adipose tissue can gain toxins, their calcification will occur, and after a while, we will have the prospects for breast cancer. The next problem that can significantly spoil the appearance of the breast is a change in body weight. If a woman has gained a lot of weight and then lost a lot of weight, this will lead to the fact that the breast will first increase and then decrease after that. Moreover, the breast decreases as a rule much more significantly than all other regions of the female body. Therefore, if a woman gains weight and then loses weight, then almost certainly the breast will drop, sag, and lose its external shape. Accordingly, in order to work with this problem, we need to work with the fascia that supports the breast. The breast is an organ that is enclosed in a fascial cover. It is this fascial cover that allows the breast to have the shape that it has. Distortion of this fascial cover leads to the breast hanging with or having an irregular shape. It should be understood that the space around the chest is the space that gives the shape to the breast itself. In order to learn how to work with the fascia, you need first to find the attachment points of the fascia that support the chest. Look here, I am now pressing and lifting the chest in this way. I press laterally and change the direction where the nipple is looking. Accordingly, working with the surrounding space, it is possible to normalize the condition of the fascia that supports the breast and thus significantly change its shape. A similar problem similar to the problem of weight gain and weight loss will be the situation associated with feeding as in breastfeeding when women breastfeed the breast size naturally increases and after feeding it decreases which leads to the fact that the breast again decreases in size and begins to sag and its shape changes accordingly we continue all the same manipulations with the fascia which are shown in the previous section of our video However, it is worth remembering here that nursing moms should pay special attention to how they feed their baby and how they hold it. You are not bringing the breast to the baby, but the baby to the breast. Unfortunately, many women do not do this. Women stretch their breasts and direct the nipple into the mouth of a child who does not want to take the nipple. Remember that the way you stretch and deform your breasts will impact the shape after feeding. 
Remember that pumping with the help of hands is not the best way of pumping. And yet, now there are excellent breast pumps that give a much greater result for preserving the shape of the breasts during breastfeeding. The next problem we will discuss will be limb stagnation. When we talk about limb circulation in the chest, we must remember that there are two key regions where we need to look in order to normalize limb circulation. I repeat once again that limb circulation is what really is important for a woman's health because a violation of limb circulation regularly leads women to breast cancer. Accordingly, the better the limb circulation in your breast region, the better your breast will be and the more reliably you are protected from breast cancer. The first area we should look at is the venous angle area. Absolutely necessary to work with the venous angle zone when you work with the breasts. The second zone will be the axillary lymph nodes and we will work with them while lying down. Axillary lymph nodes are located on the lateral surface at the anterior entrance of the armpit. Accordingly, in order to work with these lymph nodes, the first thing we do is open the venous angle with you. Secondly, we open the subclavian artery, which carries the lymph out of the space under the breast. That is, the lymph first enters the lateral lymph nodes, axillary, then enters the lymph nodes accompanying the subclavian artery, and then enters our venous angle. First, we need to work on the venous angle, then on the subclavian artery, and then deal with the axillary and, and the lymph nodes. What does the work on axillary lymph nodes look like? As a rule, axillary lymph nodes are palpated quite well. Here we have obvious problems, and it is necessary to work out the axillary lymph nodes. This forms a fairly distinct excess mass on the lateral surface of the armpit. Here we find axillary lymph nodes, and they are usually quite well probed, so this is the norm. Be especially careful if there is pain in the axillary lymph nodes or chest. This means that you avoid any pressure at all and just apply your hand with the minimal possible impact and hold it for some time. That's how I'm doing about now. I'm doing practically nothing, but paradoxically, it's quite clearly and repeatedly shown how this leads to a good result. I did similar manipulations and saw how the swelling in the armpit area decreased in many of my patients and saw something similar in the examples of photos of my students who had graduated from our figure modeling course. There we will talk about how you can work with the lymphatic system. I'll tell you without false modesty, the results are really impressive. And now, despite the fact that visually it does not look very good, I feel the volume of the auxiliary lymph nodes decreasing under my hands. There is such a specific feeling as if something is flowing under my hands. In all probability, this subtle sensation of mine allows me to feel the movement of the lymph. It is recommended to work with the axillary lymph nodes at the level of touching and observing how they behave without pressure, without shifting at the level of three to five minutes a day. This will give you good results in clearing the chest of stagnant lymphs. Stanislav, does the stagnation of lymph affect only health? Does it affect the shape of the breast in any way? Stagnation of lymph significantly affects not only your health, but also your appearance. For example, if we have excess volume here, then the breast looks wider and less compact and its shape is not ideal. Moreover, if there is stagnation of the limb here, then the tissue in the armpit will be so uneven. In addition, due to the fact that the breast does not have sufficient fluid outflow, this will lead to the fact that the structure of the breast deteriorates much faster. Cells die and lose their function much faster, and as a result, lose their tone. In addition, the breast is gaining excess fluid. This fluid is not supported by support from the fascia and the chest begins to sag. In addition, a rather unpleasant problem is when there's a lot of stagnation in one place of the limb and everything is fine in another place. Then the breast will be curved on one side. You will have a large chest twisted in one direction and on the other side you have a small chest twisted in the other direction and one will be higher than the other as well. You have to understand that if you know how to work with the lymphatic system correctly, you can reduce the size of the large breasts, you can increase the tone of a sagging breast, and you can also cure those problems with seals that also change the shape of the breast. An important point worth mentioning is the understanding that the breast is not in an airless space. The breast is joined to the sternum. If you are not breathing normally, this can lead to pain in the sternum. A specific sign of improper operation of the diaphragm is soreness along the sternum. If the sternum is painful and if the diaphragm does not breathe, there will be a change in the large pectoral muscle. If the pectoralis major muscle does not work properly, then this leads to the fascia, which are woven into the fascia of the pectoralis major muscle, losing their elasticity and the chest will sag. Therefore, working with the large pectoral muscle, working with the sternum, and working with the diaphragm is an important factor that affects the condition of the breast. 
If a person has problems with their diaphragm, if a person has problems with large pectoral muscles, if a person has a problem of soreness on the sternum, for example, associated with a high level of stress, this will also worsen the condition of the breast. And in the opposite way, if we work with the diaphragm, sternum, and large pectoral muscle, then we will be able to significantly correct the condition of the breast. Stanislav, I have a question. How can we see if it is the condition of the diaphragm that causes soreness or irregular breast shape? A simple test. If you put your hand on your sternum, start kneading it, and at some point, like my client, you discover an acute illness, it is almost certain that the diaphragm is not okay, and most likely the chest will also be in a poor state. And how will it look if that's the case? When we talk about breasts, we focus on the shape and tone. Accordingly, every time we encounter some unfavorable factor, for example, the lack of the right tone of the diaphragm or the lack of the right tone of the pectoralis major muscle, this will lead to sagging in the chest. If we have problems with the lymphatic system, with improper feeding, or with a bra, then this will lead to change in the shape of the breast. It will point in the wrong direction, and the nipples will point in the wrong direction as well. They will be asymmetrical, and there will be distinct bumps and irregularities inside the breast. Of course, it is also very important to say about the influence of self-consciousness. If a person, for example, is shy of their chest and squeezes her shoulders, trying to hide it, then this will certainly worsen the condition of the axillary lymph nodes and spoil the structure of the breast and generally spoil the shape of the breast due to them being in a continuously compressed state. The same can be said about a person who is stressed or depressed. There will be problems with the venous angle as well. Your general emotional state can affect the state of the endocrine system, which in turn affects the state of the breast. Therefore, if you are unsatisfied with your breast and you constantly reproach yourself, then you worsen the condition of your breast. And if you are proud of your body and are happy with it, then it improves the condition of your body. And with you as always was Stanislav Chernanog, the author and creator of the online school Vector Massage and Somatics and the YouTube channel of the same name, where we talk about beauty, health, and learn to make a career out of it. Friends, until next time, take care.